Greetings everyone, this is Alexander, I'm a USA Swimming Coach and American Swimming Coaches Association Level 2. Uh, recently I was sorting out the files on my laptop and uh, I came across one video when I'm racing my favorite event 400 AM. Uh, despite that race happened back to 2012, I still vividly remember how it was. And today I'd like to review it over with you. And this is actually one of the reasons I decided to make not typical video for me, sort of uh, uh, token head one and uh, I think it would have been nice to share a little of my experience when I was an active athlete and uh, Also how my experience could have been projected on today's reality By the reality I imply quarantine of course and the second point I decided uh, to make this video is uh, That we are all thirsty for a nice and intense work out and uh, eager to get back into the water or regular routine uh, but this is not for sure that everybody feel the same and uh, I thought this video might alleviate the struggle all right and now we are going back to 2012 let's go All right, here we go, my friends. Here's my laptop. And here is promised race 400 AM. Let's dive into it. It is uh, clearly visible that the quality is not so good as nowadays and my cameraman wasn't super steady. Nevertheless, this is a precious piece of memory. All right, first off, as I already mentioned, this is the year 2012, Ukraine Nationals. If you can't spot me, here I am taking the lead in lane 2, closer to the bottom of your screen. This guy with sweeping butterfly and white cap is me. By the way, I am the oldest athlete in this final. As you can see, my fly here has a pretty high amplitude of vertical movements in my waist. Nowadays, I would do more flat body positioning on the water and uh, I try to propel myself more effectively forward. Back to the background story of this video real quick. That year I restarted my swimming career after three and a half years being off the swimming and uh, to be honest all the period I didn't stop uh, swimming I just switched for triathlon that period of my life and like my idols in sport history at some point I decided to restart my swim career and this is the first championship for me since I returned to full-time swimming again. Surely I wanted to make a national team again and I knew that I'm pretty close to the leaders and to the cut for the national team. It was a really big deal for me and uh, with these thoughts I had been approaching to this championship. Meanwhile we switched to backstroke. As you can see there is a lack of connection between kick and pull I have on the back here. Legs are creating a significant resistance and some uh, slight lack of shoulder rotation. A lot of water comes onto my shoulder. Here I'm still retaining my lead. And uh, we've swum almost halfway through. Everybody again ready for breast show because uh, it's uh, the key moment of this event. Uh, as you could see, as you could see, I used a bucket turn or backward flip, whichever way you can call it. In my opinion, uh, this way of transitioning from back to, uh, to breast is extremely uh, efficient and uh, I always try to adjust my stroke rate to get my hand on the wall properly to get this turn done even until now. I split it to 10 by the way and I'm a leader so far and the most interesting part is about to start. Usually drastic changes may happen after the breaststroke portion of the distance and I knew that my main rival is capable of and that he is going to run away from me using his high rhythmic breaststroke. I've never possessed outstanding breast, but it was pretty solid for, for IM purposes though. And now you can see I'm losing my lead and young guy in lane 4 is conquering his title. Judging my breast stroke uh, from my perspective now, uh, I don't really like the way I pull here, a little tiny without engaging back muscles and uh, there is a sun curved movement on the recovery also instead of rapidly moving my hands into the initial position and uh, my legs are filled with lactic acid already which brings them deeper down than they supposed to. At this point of 400 am distance body is experiencing uh, a high-end fatigue 
uh, heart rhythm is over uh, 200 beats per minute but every mature athlete knows how to deal with it and my remedy was despite the fact uh, that it's last hundred of distance coming up I usually try to get uh, myself recovered a little on the first 50 down freestyle and gather as much efforts as possible for the final 50 on the way back to the finish and here I already realized that I'm fighting for the silver medal only and unconsciously I applied the trick I'm letting the guy in lane 5 get me but I know that there is some nitro left in my trunk that I'm releasing it out absolutely uncountable number of strokes on the way back absolutely no care on technique no more power left and in order to offset lack of power I'm relying on my high intensity stroke rate uh, which gives me ability to stay afloat and not to lose my speed uh, significantly. I get second in this race with a time 427, if I'm not mistaken. Um, after the three and a half years of way of consistent swimming, I returned into the squad. And uh, what gave me the most value for that experience is that uh, my final time was uh, around four seconds behind my personal best only four seconds at 400 i am uh, this is only one second per hundred and at that point i was uh, extremely optimistic and uh, i realized that uh, my skill your skill uh, doesn't get vanished without the trace uh, if you're staying active the matter of getting back into the shape uh, will not take too long and uh, this is actually morality of this video uh, we're all so much anxious about abscess on practice now uh, but and again if you stay active uh, once you be in the water your skill your feelings your perception will be regained really quick so no worries everybody be patient wait for your time think positively uh, and build up an undisputed belief in yourself this is it for today hopefully i have inspired you a little write in the comments below if you had a similar experience throughout your career and everybody stay fit and healthy take care bye bye